What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the New York Mets versus Kansas City Royals. Major League Baseball matchup going down Saturday, April 13th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, head on over to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. What it's for is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. It's going to get you access to the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. It's also going to get you access to my Nerfies and Nerfies and my first five plays I don't release at Pick Dogs. It's also going to get you access to the plays that I make throughout the day based on line moves, money moves, pitching changes, lineup scratches, and so on. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in and you're rolling with that kind of bankroll, text 775-636-7674 and we'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the New York Mets and the Kansas City Royals. For Saturday, it's Sean Manaya that's listed as the starter for the New York Mets. And for the Kansas City Royals, Alec Marsh is getting the start here. And Marsh, you know, hasn't been uh, my favorite starter in the Royals rotation. He's been good, good enough. I mean, 1-0, a 3.09 ERA. The last time out at home against the, uh, the Chicago White Sox, three runs allowed on eight hits, over four and two-thirds innings of work. Thankfully for, for KC, the offense was able to lift up the uh, the Royals, and uh, you know Marsh didn't take the loss there. But again, he still has a little bit to work on. Only had three strikeouts in that start, and uh, you know now faces a New York Mets team that entering uh, entering Friday had found some offense. You know they the Mets won their series against the Atlanta Braves, won their road series in Cincinnati, and uh, now you know go back home where you know Sean Manaya has actually looked decent this season. I mean his his home debut for the Mets. Six innings of one-hit shutout baseball with eight strikeouts. In the following start in Cincinnati, a tough ballpark. A ballpark that I was, was firmly against him in. Five five innings, one run allowed on three hits with six strikeouts as well. So a, a .82 ERA through his first two starts. And the thing for me with Kansas City is that, you know, A, as much as I like the Royals, I think we have to face the fact that no team is going to win every single game. And B, I just... I think the Kansas City Royals for me right now are just not in the spot where I like to back them. I think, you know, we all have spots where we like to back certain teams. You know, like, you know, if you go to the NBA, we back the Dallas Mavericks as road favorites this season. In the NHL, you back Colorado at home. And for me in baseball this season, it's backing the Royals against right-handed pitchers that give up a lot of hard contact. Well, Sean I is neither of those. He's a lefty that's been really good at keeping the hits allowed to a minimum. He's allowed just four hits in his 11 innings of work this season. He also hasn't given up many base runners. He's allowed four walks, but he does have the 14 strikeouts to go along with it. And these two bullpens are very, very similar in terms of staff ERA uh, coming into Friday's action with uh, the Mets. Top 10 in bullpen ERA at 3.52. The Royals really close behind in 12th at 3.60. So I think that in this spot, I think the Mets, you know, use their pitching edge here. To get to you know to to get some solid innings, excuse me solid innings out of uh, Sean Manaya, I think they get to Alec Marsh here, and I think the Mets get the win on Saturday. So I'm going to take the New York Mets in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business, and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.